Hello everyone. Uh, before I got my portable washing machine and my compact dryer, um, my portable dishwasher was the appliance that uh, really made, uh, you know, really took the labor out of a chore for me at home and made me want to, you know, explore other options to make life easier. But the portable dishwasher for me was the one that started it all. Um, I got this in, uh, in January 2015. And uh, the reason I got it was because uh, I had been hand washing dishes, uh, you know, for years, and I had I missed having a dishwasher. But uh, given the size of my home, I and the fact that I don't have a dedicated place to put a dishwasher, uh, I explored options, and I found this 18-inch uh, portable dishwasher, which rolls right up to the sink. Normally, I store it right over here next to my little bar. Um, and, uh, and when I need it, I can just wheel it up, use it, move on, and I've been really happy with it. It works really well. Now, this is an older dishwasher. This, is, I, this might even be from the early 2000s or maybe even the late 90s. Uh, it's a Kenmore, and this model, I'm fairly certain, is made by Frigidaire. Um, I got it on Craigslist. I actually got it used, and I paid 150 bucks for it, I want to say, uh, which is, you know, not the cheapest for a portable dishwasher, but... All I had to do was clean it up. I ran something called dishwasher magic through it and sanitized it and then it's been good to go. And it has been, uh, it's been a trooper. It's worked great for, uh, for years now. I, I will be getting close to three years at this point and I've had no problems with it at all. Uh, so let me show you uh, this model. I'm going to show you a few different things on this. Uh, but uh, when you open this up, one thing that makes this model a little bit different than some other modern dishwashers and hopefully uh, you can see this in the light, but I'm just going to pull this rack out. This dishwasher only has one impeller on the bottom. A lot of modern dishwashers have an extra one up here, and this one does not. It's just the one down here, so that's something you have to factor in when you load it. Um, if you don't load, you know, a dishwasher cleans as well, <laughs> really, as you load it, and uh, if the dishwasher, you know, how much you prep the dishes, depending on how well your dishwasher actually works. This one does a great, great job, uh, again, along, as long as you load it properly. Now what I mean by that is that since there's only the one impeller on the bottom, um, and I apologize for the, uh, that this is dark, uh, but since there's the only one impeller on the bottom, um, you have to make sure that the water can hit everything in the top rack. Now in the center of the rack here, I don't know how it's easy to see that, but right here, there's a little gap. and that impeller, there's a post in the center that rises that will help spray the top rack. Uh, and as long as you keep that clear and you don't completely cover the bottom rack with pots and pans and things so that no water can access the, the, uh, the dishes at the top, then it does a fantastic job. And it does a better job than I could do. And what I love about dishwashers in general versus hand washing, dishwashers, uh, they, they can uh, run with the, the water at a really high temperature. Um, they, they recycle the water. The way a dishwasher works is it'll fill up with, you know, a gallon or two of water at a time, and then it filters it and recycles it over and over as it blasts the dishes with the water. So, um, it only, it ends up using a lot less water than you would normally use for cleaning the equivalent amount of dishes. It also is very energy efficient. I've seen no raise in my electric bill from any of these little apartment appliances that I've acquired over the years. Um, and it's very easy to use. Uh, so yeah, let me, uh, let me give you a little demo here. I'm gonna show you how this hooks up to the sink. It's actually really easy. So it wheels up, and hopefully, I don't make too much mess here. I had, in my previous videos of my washing machine, people gave me a lot of tips on how to clean the sink out. And I actually ended up using Comet, um, and I've used that for a little while now. You know, every couple months I'll use Comet and scrub the sink out. And it looks a lot better. It did work miracles, and I got it from the Dollar Tree. I don't normally use bleach products, but uh, in this case, I mean, it really deep cleans. It does a good job. So, I have a um, I have an adapter hooked up to my my faucet that will work with this model. It's actually just a generic one, and on the back of the dishwasher, there's the hoses that pull out. The nice thing about this one is that the hose. Uh, both hoses are part of uh, just one end piece, and they just, uh, so it, the dirty water comes out the bottom just like the other one, and this might be hard to do one-handed, um, 
<laughs> Let me see if I can do this. Oh, geez. Um, so you push down on the snap ring here, and then there we go. And then push that on, and then it snaps in like that. That's all there is to it. Um, it's very, very easy to connect. Once you have, if you have a faucet that can fit that adapter. And newer dishwashers, the, the thing, the connector piece might be a little bit different. Um, but uh, for this one, it's actually a fairly universal. And then back here as well, there's a cord. The cord actually rests inside the machine when you're not using it. And you can just extend it and it just plugs in. You can just extend it. It just plugs in like so. Whoop. And that's it. That, that's all there is to it. Not too bad. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, grab some dishes to load this up. What I thought would be fun for this video, I've got a bar over here and the dishes, you know, I rarely use this stuff, these decanters and glasses, and they're all really, really dusty. So I thought it'd be fun to run these through along with uh, any extra dishes that I had built up. So, okay, let me get that started. All right, let me give you a quick uh, demo of the controls here. This thing is pretty bare bones and the controls are extremely simple. So over here, you've got your cycle options, pots and pans, normal wash. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I always leave it on pots and pans. What that does is it will do an extra, well, it does an extra cycle uh, when you on the timer here. Actually, I don't know if pots and pans really makes a difference here. But you've got water heat. There is, on the inside, the bottom of most dishwashers, you can see the um, heating element, that black rectangular ring that goes around the entire bottom. That heats up the water, and that also helps with drying. So we definitely want water heat on. Uh, you have the option to turn off heat for drying. I don't want that. And then again, if you want to change things up, if you're uh, depending on what you're washing, you can just hit that and reset the options. I'm going to have water heat on, pots and pans. That's going to be the most aggressive cycle. That's what I always leave it on. And then over here, we've got our dial. Um, when I use this, I almost always turn it on pots and pans. You can set this to delay the wash too, up to six hours, but usually I want it to run just because I hook it up to my sink um, while I'm home. I don't usually delay it, you know, uh, like I would with a normal dishwasher and run it while I was at work. Uh, because it, but anyways, if you set it to pots and pans, then goes through all of the other cycles. Uh, that means you get, an, you basically, you get an extra cycle uh, before it even dispenses the soap to hopefully really deep clean your dishes and uh, and really sterilize them and uh, so they come out nice and beautiful all right so let me go ahead and load it up all right so now uh, now it's time to load it up now I hope that this camera angle will suffice and so I'm gonna start with the things I first wanted to, to wash for the sake of this demo I don't know if, it, if you can tell here but this stuff is very dusty uh, my bar remains largely <laughs> untouched, unused, and it's time to uh, time to clean it off. Now, normally I wouldn't put large um, large items that could block water from getting into the top, you know, hitting the top rack and the bottom, uh, but uh, those don't fit in the top rack, so they have to go in the bottom. So I'm going to put the little decanter cap up here. I've got a couple more decanters to load up. One, <laughs> got two more. I'm gonna put that one right there, and I'm not sure how full this is gonna be for the sake of this demo. Um, let me open one more. Uh, but uh, I just thought this would be a fun thing to wash for the sake of for the sake of this demo. So let me, uh, you know, how you load it makes a big difference. So uh, in fact, that'll fit. Yep, yeah, that'll fit right there. I'll move this one right here. Okay, cool. So I've got my three decanters in. Ta da! Um, got my a little decanter cap, and I wash that too. And put the decanter lids on top. Um, now for the top rack, anything that could fit in the top rack, especially glasses, things that will totally block, you know, plates and um, plates and flat dishes that can easily, uh, where water can easily pass them to get to the top rack, would be ideal. Uh, for the bottom rack, but the decanters have to go on the bottom because they won't fit otherwise. So I'm going to put this, these here. These are pretty dusty and nasty. Again, this has been long overdue. And then I've got a sake or sake set. And I've actually got a couple. I'm going to throw these in here too. Um, and I'm not going to rinse any of these off. I'm just going to try to load this quickly uh, just for the sake of the demo. 
Uh, put that right there. And now on the bottom rack, I've got this uh, the sake the sake set sits on that. You know, it's technically pronounced sake in Japanese, but we call it sake in the U.S. Um, and then along with that, I've got some nasty dishes that I'm gonna throw in there as well. So there's that. Got a knife. Let me pull pull this out. I want to make sure that the loading is nicely in shot. Got a really gross bowl that I'm gonna throw in there too because why not? Um, I'm gonna put that right there. Actually, uh, the center area, you really wanna make sure that that stays clear and isn't blocked by things like bowls. You could have the bowl easily cover the whole thing, but you don't wanna do that because then it won't clean as well. Um, grab some more things, got a bunch of silverware, all my dirty ass forks, uh, some knives. Larger things like spatulas, I'll put in the top rack. Anything that can that won't fit in the, the little silverware tray. Uh, a nasty coffee mug. Whoop! Throw that in there. <laughs> a lot of the stuff. Hopefully, it'll all stay in place. But you know, while it's being washed, we'll see. Uh, ooh. Whoa! Let me rinse those or dump that, dump the excess liquid out of those. I'm actually going to need to get a little clever because I want to wash these two big plastic cups. This can go there. Uh, another, another random shot glass. Um, the top rack, ideal for large things like this. Just kind of, just kind of fit them in where they can go. They usually come out great without issue. You know, sometimes on the top rack, people say it can be a free for all as long as. As long as everything fits, now the whole thing's moving away. <laughs> and then I've got a bunch of plates. Let's see if I can fit all these in. Nasty, nasty, dirty plates. I should norm. I would normally rinse these off, but it'll be kind of fun to see uh, how they actually clean or how they clean up. So I'm just gonna put them in. Maybe I'm wiping off some of the uh, some of the 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 food crumbs and things like that. Here's another disgusting plate. I try to I try to cook on a regular basis because it saves money and you can usually get stuff that's better than fast food, but that means more dishes to do. Um, and then to make this work, I am gonna do a little rearranging. That makes all the difference. Put that there instead, and we'll put this one right in the center. And let's see here. Anything else? Oh, a little uh, spoon rest. Uh, good to keep this clean. I'll put that there, put the knife there. Okay, and then that's that. So, uh, normally I'll fill this up with a lot more, but I wanted to do a demo, so there we go. And then, I'm just gonna add my dishwasher detergent. I like uh, Cascade Powder, has been my go-to for years. I find that, excuse me, it does a very good job and a better job than a lot of generic detergents. I'm gonna put a little bit more in that little tray. Try to fill it up, uh, but it doesn't take much. I'm gonna close the little door, and then put that up. All right, now we can get started. Okay, the dishwasher is loaded. I have it hooked up to the faucet and plugged in. I actually turned the dishwasher around to load it because I needed a, a decent shot with the tripod. Uh, <laughs> so I had to normally I would uh, I would hook it up after, uh, which yeah, which I ended up doing this time. So now that it's all hooked up. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this to pots and pans, which is my preferred cycle. And there we go. As far as settings, again, I have it on pots and pans and um, and water heat so that it, it really heats up the water while it's uh, doing its thing. And there we go. Now the first cycle, it'll actually pump out the old water that's left over from the last cycle. You know, washers, just to preserve certain parts, like the pump, will retain a little water in the bottom. One of the first thing it things it does is uh, pumps out that excess water uh, before it fills up and gets ready for its first actual cycle. And the way a dishwasher works, it just fills up with a little bit of water at a time and then recycles it over and over. It blasts the dishes over and over with the same water. The water works its way um, through a filter. Um, this one actually has like a food chopper to like big bits of food will get chopped up and then that way it's able to get spit out when uh, when when it clears all that water out, and it does it over and over. I probably does it 
five or six times before it goes in the dry cycle. Okay, so I'm gonna let the washer or the dishwasher do its thing, uh, and then uh, yeah, I'll come back to it in a little bit. We'll check up on it and see how the dishes are doing and how they turned out. At this point, it's uh, it's about 60% done, I would say, and uh, you can hear it running right now near the wash cycle. Uh, as far as noise, um, it's certainly not disruptive if uh, you don't have to worry about the neighbors hearing it or anything like that. A lot of new dishwashers run, you know, nearly silent. This one's not silent, but I wouldn't say that it's disruptive. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we'll see how it's doing. Ooh, I just got some water on the floor. I opened that way too fast. Um, but yeah, you may have heard the water drip down. Uh, but yeah, it looks like things are coming along very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and close it up and, uh, and we'll check up on it again in a little bit. Here's a rinse cycle. Uh, you can see uh, you can see it's spitting out the water. It's getting close to being done, so the water that's coming out is actually pretty clean. It's already uh, gone through the soap a few cycles ago and has uh, washed the dishes over and over. So the water that's coming out is not very dirty. The first two or three cycles are pretty dirty, but um, but yeah, it's almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let it let it run its course. And we'll check up on it when it's all done. The dishwasher is almost done. It's in its dry cycle. And I'm going to give dishwasher owners a little tip, something I figured out from owning one. Um, what I've noticed is that certain dishes, mainly like cups that have lips on the bottom of them, like plastic cups, will retain water after the dishwasher is finished. So, um, one little trick that I've learned, like let's say, you know, like you're cooking for a family, it's a big holiday dinner, and you have to do multiple loads of dishes, and you don't want to bother with drying the dishes after they come out of the dishwasher. You just want to be able to throw them in the cabinets, in your cupboards, and, uh, and throw in the next, you know, load of dirty dishes. So what you can do, I'm gonna open this up, and, uh, you can see all of that steam coming off of the dishes. Now, notice how, like, on this plastic cup here, again, because it's got a lip, there's still, there's still excess water on it, and it's not too bad. But one thing you can do, if you, if you shake the dishes back and forth, I don't want to do it too much because there's a ton of glass in here, I don't want to knock anything around. But if you shake the water off, and then do the same thing on the bottom rack, it's really not too bad at this point, actually. Uh, you'll end up knocking off a bunch of excess water, which will disintegrate in the dry cycle. Um, I found for certain things, again, if I want to throw the dishes right in the cupboards when I'm done, that will help guarantee they're completely dry because any excess water that's retained on the dishes uh, will get can get knocked off, you know, mostly, and then dry. That way, you know, sometimes I'll leave the dishes in there for an extra, you know, 12 to 24 hours before I put them away usually at my leisure um, but doing that will make sure that they are ready to be put away uh, almost right away after the after the dishwasher is done without having to wipe them off so yeah we'll come back when it's finished and should be done shortly the dishwasher is all done so let's see how it did start with the bottom rack uh, all right, we'll start with the, the first major decanter. Now, I think that looks really nice. Look how shiny that is and polished. Now, now, granted, it was really just dusty. It just needed a good maintenance cleaning, but the decanter came out great. This one, too, very nice, very nice, very presentable again. <laughs> I really have these just out for decoration, but, but yeah, beautiful. The plates, let's see how the plates came out. Now there's a chip on the plate, you can see that little nick, but very nice. This one too, you may have seen how filthy this was earlier. It looks, yeah, I, I would eat off of it again, that's no problem. Sometimes when stuff doesn't come out completely clean, I'll just throw it in the dishwasher again. Very nice, another very clean plate, beautiful. spotless no problem 
Uh, the little plate from earlier, again, it was disgusting. Uh, yeah, it looks, it looks good enough. <laughs> now, this is probably the biggest culprit dish. Now, look at that. Yeah, very clean. Very, very clean. I, I love having a dishwasher. I mean, that thing was disgusting. I would normally, you know, scrub that to no end. This is very nice. This is a little dish that I have in my bar to, yeah, for the, for the sake sets. Uh, let's see here. I'll deal with the silverware later. And we'll take a quick, quick gander at the forks. Those are probably the most disgusting thing. And yeah, they look great. Get perfectly clean, disinfected, ready to go. The rest of the glasses, again, very, very pretty and, and shiny and, and nice. No complaints there. Pristine. Another one and one more. There's a little bit of water on that one I just pulled out. That was the first dish that had any moisture on it. Now the cups, as I mentioned before, retaining water. There's a little bit of water on these. Again, that lip will uh, will retain water in a dishwasher. I'll just wait to put it away. No big deal. That, that one's dry. Uh, let's see here. The rest of the shot glasses and the decanter caps. <laughs> shot, I said shot glasses. Sake cups. <laughs> They're not all shot glasses. <laughs> More of these. They, yeah, they came out just fine. Very, very clean. Dishwasher made quick, easy work of all of that. Really, it was just my own laziness that, you know, that had me delay actually cleaning this stuff because it's, it's mainly for display. Um, but yeah, glasses came out just fine. Very, very pretty. Nice and clean and disinfected. The coffee cup. The ring is is gone, ready for use again. That's great. I love I love my coffee. Uh, these little cups, I I'll use these for like small side dishes, and I I have a bunch of these, and they and actually they're really handy. I got them from a place called Libby Glass. My spatulas, uh, these were pretty gross, and and they're fine. Yeah, no problem there. And the, and the utensils, we'll get to these. So the, the uh, yeah, the knives, no problems there, ready to go. So yeah, owning, I mean, owning a dishwasher is just a huge convenience. The, the, uh, the spoon rest is disinfected and ready to go. I'm gonna set that right where it belongs. A few more knives. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like, it's just a huge time saver, and I have a lot of friends that own dishwashers and don't bother using them, and I think that's just silly, because, uh, <laughs> it, what a labor-saving appliance. Alright, now the, the dishwasher's done, everything's put away, and the dishwasher itself is put away. This is where I normally put it, right between my fridge and my bar, and, uh, <clears throat> the dishes from the bar that got washed... I, they look awesome again. They don't look all dingy and dusty. Everything came out great. Uh, the decanters, just to make sure that the air, they air out on the inside completely. I haven't put the caps on yet, but I'll put those on tomorrow. Um, and while the video was filming, I have a pile of cleaning tools that I just keep in this bin here. I know that doesn't look, you know, very nice necessarily, but a way to keep them convenient because <laughs> I use them all the time. Um, but then down here too, the sake shelf, uh, that, that all looks very nice. And I dusted it off while the dishwasher was running with my Dyson cordless. I use this thing all the time. And you can detach it at the wand and then add a dusting brush. And I, I cleaned the shelf off itself, which is very dusty. But yeah, it all came out really good. And because of the portable dishwasher, it made quick, easy work of it. Uh, for me, is a uh, is an appliance... Uh, you know, it is a luxury appliance to have in a in a small space. I can't recommend it enough. Um, so there's variants like this that are for sale today, and and I highly recommend it. It really, you know, it's a labor saving device, and uh, and does a better it does a better job than I could myself because it heats the water much higher than I could. It 
and uh, and disinfects the dishes over and over. So I love my Kenmore dishwasher, my <laughs> my compact uh, apartment dishwasher, and yeah, been really happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you for watching, and have a great day.